Hi guys, Anna White here today. So Mother's Day was just a couple weeks ago and my family asked me what I would like to do for Mother's Day and I could think of nothing that I'd rather be doing than building a project. Um, so this is what I came up with. This project is all two by fours. There is nothing else in it besides two by fours. I used a cedar two by four, but if you were to add a finish, you could use regular two by fours as well. It's actually two different projects. This is a full, move out of the way so you can see a little bit. This is a full couch. So if you just wanted a, 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 a couch, an outdoor couch, you could just build this and it would stand alone on its own. And then this project here is actually a just a one side armless sectional piece so you can bring the two pieces together and make a beautiful sectional. I love this project so much because it just feels so solid. This is just so nice and so comfortable and so sturdy and it gives that, you know, that rich handmade look. I feel like when I'm out on this deck and it's hot out, I feel like I'm on vacation at some expensive resort with high end real wood furniture. The cost of this project, the cedar, since I went cedar and I'm up in Alaska, cedar is expensive for me. So I spent a couple hundred dollars on the two by fours. It may be cheaper for you depending on where you live. The cushions were the real expensive part. And again, I live in Alaska, so I have a really limited shopping options and then nobody ships up here. So the cushions did cost me quite a bit, but I encourage you to shop around. These are 25 by 25 inch cushions and uh, you could use like 24 by 24s as well. So shop around, maybe wait for a sale, and you can even make your own as well. So anyway, enough talk, let's get started and I'll show you how I built this sectional. In this video, I'm just gonna show you how to make the sectional piece. The full sofa plans are available over at RYOBI. To make the sectional piece, you'll just build some seat framing. It's a simple box with some supports. And then for the arms, you'll take two legs at a top and a center support and then another center support on edge. You'll use that bottom center support to tie into the seat framing. You'll add a back and a front leg and then tie in a backboard. Then I added some extra boards underneath the back armrest and the side armrest for extra support and then just deck it. Super simple. I cut all of my boards first according to the cut list which you can get in the description or on my blog. I used a compound miter saw to make it quick and easy. Then I just started by creating the seat framing, just using two two and three quarter inch screws per corner. I'm using self-tapping screws. Um, they go in really well. You can notice I'm using actually a 12 volt drill. That's all I had since all of our other drills are at the cabin and it was fine. I didn't even need to pre-drill. Then I'm adding the seat framing supports in the center. Um, I'm leaving about 22 inch space in between. That's plenty since we're gonna put one and a half inch thick boards on top. And then again, just screw those in place. So once I got this seat framing done, I can just put it aside and onto the arms. The arms are really simple. I just screw them together again, all two and three quarter inch screws. This entire project, it's all two by fours and all two and three quarter inch screws. With one arm done and the seat framing done, I can just tie in the bottom support on the arm with the side of the seat framing with two and three quarter inch screws. And I'll do the same with a single leg for the back. I'm being very careful to make sure that I've drawn a line there and to make sure that I'm running parallel to that line. Okay, so now I can flip it over and it's really starting to look like a, a sectional piece here. Super exciting. The front single leg is really short and I've cut it and just line it up with the top there. The clamps are your friend, so just clamp it in place. And I've attached it there with four of the two and three quarter inch screws. Okay, so now for the back. Um, it, on one side of the back, I had to use pocket holes to attach because you're edge to edge. So I drilled the pocket holes on the one and a half inch setting and using two and a half inch pocket hole screws here. Those are the only pocket holes you'll need to do in this project. Um, but you could make the whole project with pocket holes as well. Um, and then added two more screws on the top of the armrest to tie in that back leg. 
So let's see if it fits. I've already made the other sofa. I made that first and here's just the sectional piece. It fits. I was so excited at this point. I um, just, it was just turning out so well and such a simple bath project. So the decking, um, it's just two by fours again and I'm spacing them an inch and a half apart. You can use a scrap piece of a two by four as a spacer to help you guide you on how wide the space should be. That back board was cut back an inch and a half to allow for that back leg. And then I'm just using more two and three quarter inch self-tapping screws to secure the seat boards to the seat framing. I also added that back support piece. Um, it just kind of makes that back a little bit stronger. Okay, so we are all done with this sectional and I'm putting these cushions on. They're 25 by 25, so they'll just go right on top and uh, they fit nicely. 24 by 24 would probably work a little better. You can see it overhangs, but I think there is some room for flexibility. And of course this plan, it's extremely easy to customize. So, I mean, if you had cushions already, you could easily adjust the size of this, this plan and make exactly what you want. That's the cool thing about DIY. So anyway, it's your turn now. You've listened to me ramble on and build and, and hopefully I've been helpful to you but um, it's your turn now. So go and build and make sure you share because I wanna see how yours turns out as well.